Hey everyone. Welcome to this video, in which we have compiled some of the best anime where the main character is low ranked, but is actually overpowered. These characters have some hidden power or ability that makes them more powerful than others. We recommend watching these anime series, if you want to see how low ranked characters can be really powerful, and influential in their own way. Kicking off the list of the best anime where the main character is low ranked but is actually overpowered, with Big Ord. A series that follows Eiji a high school student who has no other concerns in his life but caring for his sick sister. He doesn't know what he wished for. So all that he can remember is a wish for the great destruction. Recently, thousands of people have been granted powers to make their desires come true. They are known as orders, and are actually seen as bad evil people by the general public. Now, Eiji becomes the target of vengeful individuals. Will he escape the numerous assassination attempts? And what did he wish for and what were his intentions in wishing it? In Japan, there is a school for vigilantes. Where high students are known as butai need to hone their skills and learn to work as a group in order to become skilled mercenaries. There's one particular butai named Kinji Tiyama. He's an anti-social, reticent sophomore dropout of the combat-centric assault division. Kinji is now studying logistics while covering his powerful but embarrassing abilities. His quiet days soon come to an end when he becomes the target of the infamous butai killer, and runs into an emotional hurricane and outspoken prodigy of the highest rank Arya, who saves Kinji's life. She then demands that he become her partner after she helps save him. Another great anime where the main character is low ranked but is actually overpowered is Black Bullet. The story follows a high school student who is investigating promoter named Satomi Rentaro and his partner, Enju, who uses her kept in check gastry powers to kill full blown gastry. The main character Rentaro starts off as a pretty mediocre promoter, but then becomes really powerful as the series progresses. The duo, Rentaro Satomi and Kasara Tendo are off on a journey to Tokyo to stop the infection of the parasite gastry before it wipes out humankind. <laughs> If you're a fan of action, cute girls, with a good plot and some really weird eyeball flesh monsters, this anime might be for you. The story follows the small 35th platoon, consisting of what many in the Anti-Magic Academy think is a group of failures. The main character of the series is Kusanagi Takeru, and he is a student at Anti-Magic Academy. In this world filled with magic and witches, only one platoon is allowed to seek them out. The ones, in this case, are known as Platoon 35 and it only has 5 members total. One guy and 4 girls, it's a fascinating harem anime, right? Long ago, large, mysterious monsters almost wiped out humanity and were difficult to handle. These giant bugs made humans cannot live on Earth anymore. But this doesn't mean that everything is lost. There are wizards academies out there working hard to fight the monsters. Kanata Age is a young man who used to be appreciated by others. Now they blame him for his past choices and call him the traitor. However, he found a way to re-establish his reputation by instructing Team E601. The team has three girls with issues, and they end up in Kanata's life, causing more problems than what he bargained for. <laughs> Megalobox is a great sports shonen anime to watch if you are into martial art themes. The story focuses on the main character as a low-ranked boxer, who is actually overpowered. In this sports world, Junk Dog is a mighty athlete. He participates in an underground sport called Megaloboxing. Megalo boxing is basically a type of boxing that involves fighters competing with metal gears. It also has more lethal and painful consequences than a regular sport. 
Junk Dog chooses the moniker Joe in order to participate in the Megalonia tournament and his life journey is shown through two main aspects, as a competitor and as a person. <laughs> Next up, we have Alderamin on the Sky, which is a good anime where MC is low ranked but is actually overpowered. The series is visually stunning, gripping, and has its story carefully told without being confusing for the audience. This is an amazing series in every way. It's all about war, politics, and the genius main character Ikta that forms his legend using his dreamlike military strategy skills. Ikta is struggling to survive in a new world where he had to grow up fast with all the weird and interesting things that happened. This is a well-recommended anime that comes with high action scenes and a fantastic story about warfare. The show follows the life of Kiyotaka Ayano Kouji, a high school freshman who started off in class D, which is commonly known among students as the lowest class in the school system. He will be joined by Suzune Horikita an intense and quiet girl who would like to join the prestigious Class A, and Kikyo Kushida, a popular and cheerful girl who is widely seen as the class idol. The three, along with the class, need to do what they can to survive in a world of unparalleled intrigue between the classes. Overall, Classroom of the Elite is an epic tale of the main character of this anime, a low-ranked high school student, who is actually overpowered, and who can end up ruling the world, but not before he makes a dent in it. One Punch Man is one of the best anime out there. It has a unique story where the main character, Saitama, is low ranked but is actually overpowered and can defeat any opponent in a second. The story told here is about a hero, Saitama, who's so strong that he could destroy any opponent with one punch. He's pretty bored of defeating all opponents, as there are no more opponents who can really challenge him anymore. This is actually an anime series that has been praised for its unique story and characters. The animation is also praised for being amazing and the fight scenes are captivating to watch. <laughs> Mahaka Koko no Retoase is a popular anime, featuring the main character being low ranked but actually is overpowered and surpassing everyone, it's easy to see why this is an enjoyable anime. The start of high school is a time when the two siblings, Tatsuya and Miyuki realized that they were separated in different courses, and had to take different paths. Miyuki was classified into the first class while Tatsuya into the second one. Though Tatsuya has poor test scores, he is still impressive in other areas of knowledge and abilities. He is a type of irregular that is rare to exist in high school, someone with both powerful magical capabilities and the technical skills to back these up. <laughs> Rakudai Kishi no Cavalry is an anime where the main character is low ranked but is actually overpowered than everyone else. This is the story of the main character's journey to becoming stronger and gaining new friends and wisdom in the process. Set in a world where people have the power to control their souls and form weapons. These people study and train at the prestigious Hagon Academy to become a mage knight. Among the students is a so-called failure character named Iki. However, when the worst student in the academy sees a hot, well-ranked girl naked, she challenges him to a duel in order to take revenge. The loser becomes the slave of the winner. Now, Iki will either become her slave or top the ranks and prove his strength. If you're a fan of demon lords or overpowered characters in anime, this show is for you. A long time ago, a war between humans and demons resulted in widespread chaos and bloodshed. But to put an end to this seemingly endless conflict, demon king Anyos Voldigod willingly sacrificed his life, hoping for a peaceful future. Luckily, the demon lord reincarnated into the body of one of his descendants and found an era where he could have some peace and quiet. However, he ended up going to a school run by a significantly weaker descendants. <laughs> 
We hope that you've enjoyed this video and that you've found something good to watch. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, leave a like, and comment on what you think. Thanks for watching.